Hi guys, it's Andrea and I am back editing more American Girl outfits to more of my style, I guess. I just want to say that no there's nothing wrong with the original items. I just wanted to edit them into something that is more fit to my style, I guess. So first, I gathered up some of the new items. I only took items that are currently being sold by American Girl and I chose ones that I thought would be good to edit. So these are kind of the ones that I chose. I didn't end up using all of them, but yeah. So first off, I switched the color of this jumper thing to blue because we're feeling blue today. <laughs> um, and then I thought that a white shirt would look good underneath it. So then I looked for anything that was like white or like a white turtleneck or a white collared shirt. And I ended up picking this pilot uniform and I just took the collar from this photo and I put that together with the Ireland shirt. So I ended up looking like a short sleeve collared shirt kind of. And I just placed that behind the jumper here or dress, whatever it's called, I don't know. <laughs> I used the clone stamp tool here to extend the shirt out since it wasn't actually long enough. And then next I took the sunglasses from Melody's Accessories because I thought the sunglasses would look cute with this outfit. And then I also took the beret from the new Paris or France traveling outfit. And I changed that to yellow because I think blue and yellow, like pale blue and yellow are really pretty colors to go together. And I took out the little heart symbol on it too because it looked weird when I color changed it. it didn't match. Then I took the brown boots from the Ireland outfit, which I actually really like that outfit. And I changed the color. Um, actually, I ended up not changing the color here, but later on, I changed it again because I'm very indecisive. So for the next outfit, I used this tank top from the mix and match line, the new one, I think. And I also used the cardigan from the Ireland outfit because I really like that cardigan. And I changed the color. Um, this is not the final color I decided on. This is all just like me messing around with Photoshop. So <laughs> what you see here is probably not the final product. So I cut the tank top out so that I could put it on top of the cardigan and hide that giant blank spot because the original photo uh, had the Ireland shirt covering it, I think. And next I tried this skirt, but I think it kind of ended up looking like the Ireland outfit, like the original one. I also tried adding like lines or more plaid pattern on top of it, uh, but it didn't look right, so I fixed that. And here I was using the burn tool. And then I changed the cardigan to black, and I think that's the final color I decided on. So yeah, instead of the skirt, I thought some jeans would go. So the jeans from the boy truly me outfits, I thought would go perfectly. And those were too dark, so I needed to brighten those up, kind of make them a little bit different. And I decided to actually make them two-tone jeans. So I made one side much brighter than the other. And then I also took the necklace from that accessories outfit from the new, the new colorful hair doll line. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and then I also took the brown bag from the Ireland accessories because I think that's a cute bag and it goes with everything. <laughs> And then I added these shoes from American Girl. I just kind of changed the color a little bit. It's not that different from the original.
And then for the third outfit, I decided to use the skirt that I edited earlier. So since I didn't end up using it for that other outfit, uh, I want to do another cardigan outfit. So I got Courtney's cardigan. And I changed the hue, like I drastically changed the colors of this. You can see the cardigan going crazy because I couldn't figure out what color it was gonna do. I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So this is kind of not the final color I ended up on, but I decided on this and now I'm taking off all of the little extra stuff on top. It's really pretty on the original, but it didn't fit with the colors here. And here I'm just using the spot healing tool and also the clone stamping tool. And this took me quite a while. It's not perfect, but like I gave up and didn't want to work on it anymore. And then I wanted to make the buttons red because I had a specific theme in mind that you will see shortly. So yeah, I just duplicated the buttons over. And now I'm taking off all the design on the sleeves as well. And I didn't like the sleeves being this purple color and I wanted to make it kind of similar to the color of the main part of the cardigan. So I tried to color match that as close as I could. And then I brightened the cardigan in the end as well. <laughs> And I adjusted the colors on the skirt a little bit to match the red on the buttons of the cardigan. And then I wanted to make all the little buttons look like cherries, so I drew it on with the paint tool. And then I decided that I actually wanted to use the tank top from the second outfit I did on this outfit. So I switched out the tank top. I used this like sports bra thing from New American Girl set. And then I edited on like a little logo that I just made. And then I added Melody's purse and color changed it to red to match. And then I added these American Girl sandals, changed the color to tan to match it a little bit better. And yeah, these are the final outfits. I am pretty happy with how they turned out. The cardigan took me way too long. It took me way longer than it should have. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite outfit. Bye!